Welcome back to our next tutorial. Following this video, you will know how to fill in your fill colors, how to change your straw colors, how to use transparencies, opacity, how to set up dashed lines, and how to use the eyedropper. Let's begin by selecting one of your objects. Clicking up here to the fill color. Click on it. There you have your HSL color wheel. By turning this red button to the left, you can see you can change the color. By dragging the second circle into the middle of this triangle, you can change the saturation of your color. Over to the right, you can see whenever you turn on the color wheel and you move the second circle around, the same will be applied up here. Now I go over to the stroke color, I click on the stroke color and I do the same here. I move the circle, let's say to a nice blue, move that into the middle so I can adjust the saturation of that blue-green. I go in here, click on it and I say I change the width up to maybe 16 point. Then I select the second object, move it over the first object and I can see they both are overlapping. Over to the right I can see the layers. The donut is covering up the rounded rectangle because it's above that shape. If I move it down you can see now the rounded rectangle shape is above the donut. Ctrl C or Command C to go back or I simply move the layer back on top again. Now I would like to use the same reddish purple for my fill color. Clicking on the fill, using the eyedropper, go with the eyedropper over the red purple, let go. You can see the result right here. By clicking on it, it will get applied. Now the difference between working up here and working to the right in your panels, it is the same, you just have different options. If you would like to change, let's say, the straw color, you would have to select it first to move it on top, then be able to change the straw color and move the fill color back on top so I can change the fill color. But you have another possibility here, which you don't have on the top left. You can switch the stroke and fill color back and forth. Now I would like to do it again. I would like to get the blue back into the fill color. I can do it here as well. I select that eyedropper, go over to the blue. Once the blue is selected, it's up here in that little circle. I click on it and it's applied. Now I would like to change the stroke color and I would like to use a mustard yellow. Go back into the stroke and make the stroke a bit thicker. Change the alignment of the stroke to the outside. Go back into my fill color and I would like to make the fill color transparent. I can do this below here and I can choose a different opacity. Now when I move the object over the second object, you can see it's transparent. The stroke color remains the same way. Now I choose the next object, go a little bit closer with my zoom tool or I select my object and I go up here under View, Zoom, Zoom to Selection. And my object is perfectly sized in the middle. I want to focus on the stroke for a little bit. Choose any kind of color I want, enlarge the width, I have dotted lines, I can see I make a dash 1 to 2, I can also say I would like to have an inside or out and you can see anytime I move this around and I move these options around you get different solutions, but now what I would like to show you is the option scale with object and I take the corner right here, hold down the shift key, the stroke will be reduced the same way as the object. 
Now, if I go in here and I say, don't scale with object, I take it off. Again, hold down the shift key. I can see the stroke reacts completely different. Go back to the original size with view, zoom, either 100% or zoom to fit, and I see the whole page. Now I suggest that you create your own fill color, your own stroke colors, that you try to create your own opacity in your fill color, that you try to move the layers of your objects up and down, and you create of one of your objects a stroke with a dashed line. We will meet again for the next tutorial where we will be getting to know the appearance panel.